Good times day, you all creatures of wireless change ratings, and welcome back to Kingdom of Aldana. Previously, on our session, the Hearn's Talents have made short work of the attacking undead, but then were ambushed by the cavern's original owners, a pair of frost salamanders? <laughs> Who proved to be no challenge at all, despite both unleashing their cold breath. They were quickly cut, or more like exploded, by the adventurers. And the Hiron Stellans have taken their rest in this hostile environment, interrupted somewhat by a still stalking yeti and distant howling of unseen creatures. After the rest, you proceeded onwards to the Ice Dome, finding a fortress gate of the Frost Giants, with whom you have engaged in. Oh boy, highly inappropriate negotiations. Nevertheless, you have secured a passage into the dome and into the sanctuary of the guardian that they were securing. You met that guardian who took the form of a humongous uh, snow bear and he offered you a test or a challenge. You have Agreed to take the test, with Leus and Milora staying behind to undertake it, the rest of the party retreating to a safe distance. It has been two months since Leus and Milora have done, <coughs> I mean, been going through the test, <laughs> and nothing has happened. So, I think it would be appropriate. I think that we ended the last session with the little warm party to start this session with the cold party. And I think it would be even more appropriate if some of you went to get some tea or something. You don't have to, but... I feel like it will be more fun if you don't know what's going on. Alright. So. Lewis, Minora. The last thing you have... experienced... was the light slowly disappearing. As your eyes froze solid. By all laws of medicine, I suppose, the two of you should be dead. And yet you find yourselves in a sightless, senseless darkness. It lasts for who knows how long. There are no points of reference, you're completely alone. And yet, at some point, the light slowly returns, as the field of vision widens, and again, in front of you, you see the icy walls of the cavern. You're alone, or the world is a guardian, is nowhere to be seen. What would you like to do? Malara, you're right. I, um, I think so. Did, did we pass? No. Well, if we passed, this was surprisingly easy. Just die again. I don't think. Well, maybe we did. Well, huh. it certainly felt like. Oh, well, a bit different than the past times where I got stabbed or something like that. 
Yeah, Hello? this kind of felt similar to drowning. Um, oh, where is everybody? Kind of. Just wasn't as cold. Where the heck is everyone? Hello? Do you turn around? Yeah. Yeah. Turn around and freeze. As you see... Smudges. Moving at incredible speed. At the mouth of the cave. Occasionally, for a few brief seconds, you see Traeger standing there, staring in your direction and disappearing in this much. Can I... Well, the player might know what's happening, <laughs> but the character might not. Can I roll an intelligence check? Sure, go for it. Uh... You think about what is going on. And then both of you, especially you, Melora, notice that every time Treg appears for just a few seconds, it seems different. Is it white in his beard? His hair long, growing longer. His face weathered, wrinkled. And as you wait, with every passing moment, you see his beard grow longer and longer, turning white and whiter. Can we move? You can try. <laughs> I would like to try. Uh, I would like to say to Malora, this kind of looks like everything's a bit speed up, doesn't it? I don't know if this is a vision or if this is really happening, but. Um... Or are we just stuck in slower motion? I don't know. I want to move. I want to go to uh, to to where I saw Trego. The same, I'll follow. You move, and as you swing your limbs, you see through them. Transparent. You are, as you look at each other properly, which I should have mentioned slightly earlier, I guess, because you would have watched each other. Made of ice. And as you step, it seems like each careless step sends a crack through your feet. Does this might be a stupid question? Does the crack actually hurt our feet? Like, can we actually feel you it? You feel nothing. You still feel nothing. Maybe uh, we're still dead? I don't know. Maybe, maybe we're supposed to break? I don't uh, know, but if, if this is really happening, I don't want to, I don't want to waste time here. By now, I mean, Trigger is a half-elf, he doesn't age fast, but he looks like a 60-year-old man would look. And it's not a good look on him. By now, there seems to be only one smudge. Traveling, waiting, returning. Is this maybe something we're supposed to just see and process? I don't know. Was there anything in the words uh, of um, of the the let's call it the guardian that m may indicate that we just have to endure this, or if we're supposed to break out of it? Uh, 
He told you to feel the eyes, to understand the eyes, to become the eyes. Do we see anything else in the room that wasn't there before, or do we see the guardian? Mm -hmm. Make me a perception check. Yes. Can no. I inspire myself for this? Uh, sure. Have any left? Uh, yeah, I got three left. Um, fearless skip. <laughs> uh, Twenty-three. The room is as pristine and untouched as, as it was previously. There's definitely no snow bear, large or gargantuan. He did say to feel and understand the ice. As far as I know, ice doesn't move or doesn't do it. It just consumes things. As you hesitate, you notice that the moments when you can see Trag are shorter and shorter. His head by now completely white. I don't know if I should reach out and touch him. How far away are we from him? Oh, good. <laughs> By now he looks about as old as his father looked before his death. Which was very old for this world. The cold touch of death? Maybe... I don't know. I'm gonna slowly start stepping forward to Trago. The deck steps slowly, trying to not cause any damage to yourself. And as you come closer, you get a better look at the second skin. The apparent sinness of his body. His face is almost brown in color from exposure. His hair no longer white, but almost transparent, wispy. No longer lush, but barely there. You are about 15 feet away from the mouth of the cave before you no longer see Trego stand there but a slumped collapsed figure at the very opening What if do you remember the dreams we had when we picked up that sword they all asked us to do something. What if there is nothing to do here? Maybe, but... I what don't... If, if this is just it? That in the end, we all die, everything dies, everything becomes cold. That makes sense, but why are we seeing just Trego? Why not the others? Maybe he's the only one who stayed behind. Who knows how Dude. much time really has passed. I, mean, I don't want to assume, but I could imagine that it gets tiresome if days, weeks, and months pass without us returning. One might assume we are dead. And I would think that Trego might be the only one who has that much hope. That he would stay until his end.
Maybe the other two went back to fight. I don't know. Maybe so they then, died before him. So this was all for nothing? I don't know. Let's keep let's keep walking. Let's try to reach him. At least let's try to reach the end of the cave. See if anything yeah. happens. Yes, yeah, seems like that's the only thing we can do. You continue? As I yeah, as I look at Trego, is he completely still? Has he Do you does it look like he's approach still him completely? Yeah, because we're gonna be we're heading towards the mouth of the cave to head okay. out. You walk up and make me a medicine check. You look at a mummified corpse that must have been frozen decades ago. Maybe we're supposed to see this as remember remember that the guardian said something about that we are warm and fast maybe right. this is about things being slow that ice itself is just slow and death i don't know fuck i don't know i don't know anything well I think you're right about that as far as the fast card goes. He said we were and I the way I interpreted it, he seemed like said to say we were impatient. Maybe we're supposed to just stay here, not even leave. Maybe. I Try to reach my hand out to Trego. Do I notice anything like any frost forming on his arm or <laughs> anything when I try to reach for him? I don't think there's more freezing for him left to do. So I don't see like, like does my when I touch him, does my hand go through him? Does it stay on him? Like, do I feel him? You connect to him. The, the corpse to the body, yes. Um, I guess we just I don't know we're not spirits at least as far as I could tell we're not I was able to touch him and feel him well, I guess we just stay here and wait I guess I guess patience I, w I, w I was wondering what the test for fire might have been. Maybe, maybe these words are testing different aspects of a character. You mean Ice. like? Yeah. Go ahead. You mean like patience, virtue, speed, stuff like that? Yeah, fire might have been something, something like passion or will or something. Something which is outwards. You know? Maybe ice is inwards, and I was wondering if we might expect similar tests when we learn the other words. And maybe. Oh, I'm I'm going I'm going deep into conspiracy theory territory here, but maybe this is kind of like an ultimate test of from the dragons, that they only want to reconnect with our world once people of high virtue find them. Actually, that does make sense. <sighs> what?
let's hope that that, um, that we are right about this and we're not just sitting idly as the world crumbles. Yeah, let's hope. But I think you're right. If he told us we need to learn patience, maybe it's um, oh, I don't know what the word is. Omnipotent? Omni omniscient? It knows the way our group was fighting, how we constantly ran in head first. So mm. maybe the like you said, this is probably a chance, a test to see if we can more or less excuse the pun, chill out. Yeah, you're so fucking right about this. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Okay, Makes I'm all for me. giving it a shot. And let's be ice. Be patient and wait. Yeah, I'll just... I don't have my flute with me, right? Nope. You... Well, I mean, you would both be considered uh, kinda naked if you weren't made of ice. Mm. <sighs> Wait a minute, so I'm standing here in the buff? Um... I mean, if you can consider ice tedious that, then yes. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, to be fair, like, there is. You are not very detailed ice statues. Let's go with that. Yeah, let, let's leave some parts to the imagination. <laughs> <laughs> like, and it's, it's not only about those parts, like, your faces are not extremely detailed like you can see the eyes the nose the mouth but that's about it yeah let's let's wait let's share some stories bridge the time oh okay. did i ever tell you my real name no, I don't think you ever did. Hmm. Leos isn't your real name? Nah. Nah, I have a super old Danian name. Ooh, do tell. If you want to, that is. It's Adam. Adam. I yeah, love that. Adam, name Adam, you. Well, oh, thank you. Adam Messlein Tylitz is the full name, but it's it's a bit much on the mouth, you know? <laughs> As an artist, you want something that is easy to say, quick to say, and easy to gasp in excitement. <laughs> Samuel, oh. that's that's the sound that I want. That doesn't work that well with my original name. Yeah, I can understand that. <laughs> That's probably the biggest secret that I have. Oh. <laughs> I made out with Lady Kazar. Did you? <laughs> yes. I had a feeling there was something going on between the two of you. Uh, I have no fucking idea what it is. I might never find out. Maybe we're... Everyone is already dead and we're just... Ice statues now that talk to each other. I don't know. I pray to God that she's not a follower of the Mother of Dragons and will stab us in the back. That would break my heart. She's had many chances before, though. And if that was the case, she wouldn't have taken our families in like that, would she? <laughs> well, that's how you can properly stab someone if you have all of their pressure, pre precious things in one house. Go for the full stab orgy. I don't know, she did seem pretty distraught when you died, though. Yeah. Honestly, I don't believe like it either. She's nice. Yeah. Hey. Hmm? 
Let's see if this works. I want to try cast sending. Shit, it requires material component. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I do still have my focus, but she's probably asleep, so I couldn't dream cast to you, or dream send you to her. Okay. What? Well, maybe it works. Maybe maybe the message is sent, but it sounds to her like just constant noise background because what we assume is only a, 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 like six seconds is for her maybe six years and it's just like a voice in her he head that's just <laughs> and it drives her insane given what we just saw yeah i wouldn't be, be surprised if that was the case like you return to real world read newspapers lady kazar commits suicide claims tonight is to be the, the blame <laughs> Yeah, fuck, I don't know how to, what we are doing here. Uh, patience, right? Yep. Yeah. Hey, so... Trego did his I'm becoming the God, a sun warrior thing ritual, where he got like super powerful, right? Mm-hmm. When we come back, do you want to do the same thing with your uh, thing on your chest there? <laughs> to be honest, yeah, I would love to, but we got so many other things to worry about right now. What? Well, we got we the do. mother of dragons, huh? Yeah. But yeah, yeah. But what? What? So, I'm I'm contemplating the thing of patience. What if we ca simply can't face her directly? What if, if hasting through until we face her is the wrong approach? Maybe we have to become more than we are to even be able to face her. Maybe that's the, the approach and everything that happens in between is just something that we need to accept. I Honestly, I don't know what she will do when she comes back. I know once she comes back, that means that, um, Relith, I hope, out of character, I hope I'm pronouncing this name right, Relithane, Trego's tree god, he, that means he's completely dead. Yeah, but... But, especially then, it would make sense for us to be more patient. And to consider our steps and to gain the strength that we can gain. Maybe I was afraid to lose. If I don't know how Trego's thing works, if he relies on the god being there, or if it's something, if he's just fucking strong and can smack the shit out of people, I don't know. Now you try to but I don't. Because you see the one thing. Maybe I'm this like test is also is supposed to tell us that we have to go through a certain things to improve ourselves to be to make sure that we're ready for whatever is to come that makes sense I just hate that it could possibly be at the cost of innocent lives <sighs> when I started my in my job as as a spy you quickly learn that you can save everyone. And it may be a very hard decision, but it's sometimes better to let a single person die and then save 10,000 afterwards. Because if you know that you won't have the chance to save that 10,000 if you save that one person, I think that's a very easy choice to make. That well, it's kind not of really easy, but it's... I approach this always with math. How many people can I save? And then go for that option. And I think in the long run we might save more if we make sure that we're strong enough to face the Mother of Dragons and that we reduce the chances of us failing as much as possible. Yeah. 
I get it. We may lose people now, but in the long run, we'll be able to prevent more from happening eventually. And who's to say that the mother is really going to kill that many people? We don't know. The, the previous dragons ha haven't gone around destroying cities. I mean, they ha had the goal of freeing their mother, but... Still, I think, I think, I, th I think, hon honestly, I think she might be more set on revenge for now than destroying all the cities. She, she might attack once and then ask where we are, and then everybody will say, fuck, we don't know. Then she'll kill a few people. Do you want to tell me now that she will say? And then they say, oh, we really don't know. Then she realizes that they really don't know, or they will tell her, oh yeah, they went to the plane of ice, she will follow us and maybe free of us from this prison here. And maybe you... the, she will then have enough time to get over her feelings. <laughs> of one you think it was... <laughs> maybe, but do you think it was wrong that we fought against them? I mean, we it's true, and the more I've been thinking about it since it's happened, we don't know the whole story. As to why she was imprisoned. Oh, we don't, we don't know either. Honestly, I really think that Pedrick is, is a good one. And I really want to believe the things um, that we have been told. That the metallic dragons are the good ones and the green ones are the bad ones. But it's always a matter of perspective. I've read so many books about the same thing from different perspectives. You wouldn't believe what, what how people describe the same event from this different perspectives. So right now we believe what we believe, but we should be open to reconsider once we see other facts. But until then there's literally nothing we can do. If someone attacks us, we defend ourselves. What That's if she says she'll stop if we give up our lives? Like she'll leave everyone alone. She just wants it against us. Would you be willing to sacrifice that? If it was absolutely in unquestionably the truth, yes. But how do I know? Do I trust the word of a creature that is a thousand times more powerful than me and could dish me all the lies it wanted just to get her away? I don't know. If I have the truth, if it's absolutely inevitable that I know it's for sure, then yes. Without hesitation. But I honestly think that I will never have that much insurance about whatever she might say to me. That's true. Really, it's just talking just to talk. I, we, like you said, we don't know what's going to happen. Well, let's wait. Yeah, that's about all we can do. And that's what we do. <sighs> we sit around, waiting. The light in the dome seems to be constantly subdued. Something between night and day, darkness and light. If days pass, they pass so quickly you don't get to notice. Till one day, or maybe it is one year, you notice the light taking on a redder sheer becoming brighter
and the brightness grows slowly. Ow. Noticeable. Until rays of red light start penetrating through the eyes. Until one day you see the dome open. And you see the sky. A red sky filled with brilliant light. You see no sun, but a humongous band of red stretching across the sky, shifting to the south and to the north. A growing, reddening band of red. You watch the dome around you melt slowly, dripping like a burning candle. Track his body if there was one, has long since disappeared. And as the dome melts, you see no giants, no remnants of their village. But the dome melts until you stand upon soil and rock. And all around you, you see the ice shelves receding, melting, flowing, disappearing. As a red light has filled half of the sky. What about us? You must just get rid of the ask. What about you? Are we still icy statues? You are? Do we feel any heat? Do I mean like do we actually feel anything? No. Nope. Why would you? <laughs> well, um, I'm lost. Seasons, maybe. Maybe the frost fell has fucking seasons. Maybe this is spring. Make an intelligence check, both of you. I inspire myself. Oh. So I feel like it may help. <laughs> Twenty. That red band in the sky. Could that be the sun? That is the sun. What does that tell us? That we're far too close to it? And we're gonna die from burning? I don't know. Uh, we just have to wait further. By now it seems that this brightness has filled up the whole sky. It feels so close you could stretch out your hand and touch it. I wanna try it. Touch it. You stretch out your hands. It is still the sun. Uh. There is no more ice left. And with the ice melting, so does the ground start to melt. Flowing. In rivers.
You were supposed to be the frost fell. It all feels like the plane of fire again. So we actually feel heat now? Nope. Just the visuals. Okay. Hmm. Does this what? mean maybe the planes are merging? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe they, they are just resemblances of the same passage of time. Just a different moment. Let's keep waiting. See if we see any of, of the other planes. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. We keep waiting. Finally. The band in the sky begins to shrink. Much faster this time. The ground cools around you. And the molten rock stops. Slowly. But also surely. You see the touch of white again. Building up. Filling up the space. Do you stay or do you try and remain unburied? I think we should stay. Yeah. Stay. You stay and watch the eyes build up around you. After a while you both are stuck in place under what feels like kilometers of ice. Sounds disappear again. Not much light seems to reach in here. No longer being able to reach each other. Even talking becomes an impossibility. Until one day you see a giant flash filling the sky, fading. And another flash. And another. And one more. The eyes around you blast open. As you stand free again and gaze up at a beautiful, short lived display of colors in the sky reds and greens and purples, beautiful nebula of light, fading. until there is a little white dot left in the sky and the day becomes night and the eyes begins to grow again what do we do? to do it if we're waiting, is there? there? Must be a point to this. I mean, the eyes always comes back. That's for sure. Whatever lives, dies in the eyes. Do you think maybe life comes from the eyes? I don't know. I feel like it's more taken or brought back to, to it. Well, ice is made of water. Water is the essential part of life. Yeah. 
that if you eat ice, you probably will die if you eat too much because your stomach can't handle it. I don't know. Um, I know you said that we saw like the colors and stuff in the sky. What about the area around us? Like, do we see ground? Do we see and do we see anything, or does it just seem like we're in a vast empty space? You are in an endless ice shelf. Yes. Definitely not much movement. Those eyes grows. That's there. Do you think we're watching the creation and the destruction of the ice plane? Pretty sure we are. Maybe this is just a massive, <laughs> like, like, uh, how do I explain this? Like a gigantic creature breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in is the cold, breathing out is the warmth. Summer, winter. <sighs> This is probably something really simple that we're not getting, and I feel like such an idiot that I can't figure it out. I feel especially idiotic because I assume that thousands of years must have passed by now, and we still aren't smarter than before. <laughs> Do we ourselves feel any different? Like, any kind of, like, awakening power or anything in us? Make an inside check? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. Um, you don't feel cold. That's nice. I haven't felt cold once since you awoke. I guess in hindsight, you don't feel that bored anymore. Seeing as you've spent quite a lot of time almost on your own, frozen and nice. And didn't feel anything about it. Can I ask this? Is this reminiscent to the time when Melora was in, I guess, I don't know what to call it, the underworld when she was talking to the Raven Queen? Does this have the same feel as that? No. Back then you had feelings. Now, I mean, might be a stretch might be wrong, but you did kind of see Traga age and die right in front of your eyes, and it doesn't seem like you felt much about it. Maybe that's it. Maybe that it's indifference. Maybe it's not patience, but also indifference. It could be. That's, that's, that's important. I mean, what, what did Lady Kazar tell us? That we will have to prove that we understand the element. What do we know of ice? How do we perceive it? We perceive it as patient. It goes away in summer, but yet it comes back in winter, always. It doesn't matter what it consumes, it just consumes it, yes, regardless of enough. personal feelings. Yeah. It's completely indifferent, and there is the patience of knowing that summer ends, it comes back. And it takes everything. As we can see, everything that we saw before is covered with ice. So there's nothing left but ice. Does anything happen upon this revelation? <laughs> the night remains night. The sky, is, the sky is as dark as it was before. The eye is still growing all around you. Question. Hmm? Was it 
knight on the Frostfell? No. Was there ever a knight? There was ever a knight. Never was a tongue. Make me a perception check. Oh, sorry. That was the wrong one. Uh, deduct five on this. So, 22. Or should I roll again? I have uh, performance plus 11, perception plus 6. Okay. Looking at the sky, I see dots of stars. Those are always so few of them. Is it? Is this where everything dies? The end of everything? Well, it's been a long night. There's still that one small, brighter star in the sky, but it doesn't look as bright as it was a little bit ago. Maybe this is the final night where everything dies and we all fade away. I don't know. Was there ever any mention in any religions of something like an eternal night? Wait, well... <laughs> Make well, a religion was... check. I'm not proficient in it. Uh, not <laughs> Seven, yeah. I mean... I have a lot of stories about that. Can't really remember any details, but... Uh, the only story that I remember is that... Was, wasn't Oko going for an eternal night or monsters rule, blah blah blah? Eh, this is it. that's one way of an eternal night, I guess. I don't know what to do, but wait. And be patient. It's also been a while since the Lord responded to you. Is she still there? I don't know. Is she still there? I just I just got back, sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. I, didn't, I didn't see the message in the chat. <laughs> Uh, yeah. it, I had to hurry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just confusing him that you haven't been responding to him. Oh. Okay, so I what did I miss? Rambling. <laughs> About <laughs> eternal nights and maybe everything dying and we just have to wait until... Maybe the cycle ends of life and death. Maybe it all has an end at some point. And maybe we're witnessing this. I don't know what else to do except for waiting. Yeah, same here, though. Now I'm concerned now that I think about it. I didn't react to Trigo. What if that really was... true? I thought it might have been just a vision. I don't think that either of us really believes that this is happening. I think we're seeing something that is supposed to help us understand this element. Even if it is real, we are so delusional that we think it isn't real because it might help us process with what the fuck is happening here. So I'm quite happy with accepting the fact that we didn't react to this because 
we don't believe this to be real but just the continuation of the test beyond the physical element of it okay all right let's see this out let's yeah. wait yeah let's wait until we find out if this night actually ends if this does go wrong though adam i want to say i'm so glad that you joined us with our group really glad to hear that same <laughs> I guess we wait. Yeah. Well, the night, if you call call it the night, becomes only the darker. As one by one, the stars disappear. The sky becomes darker and more barren. The bright white star that had accompanied you for the last uh, how many years could it be? Sometimes you have to search for it. Until one day you can't find it now. Until one day you can't find any of them. And finally, you feel like you are truly alone. Not just here, on this plane, but everywhere. This is where everything leads to. It all ends at some point. A light what? has died. The warmth has died. Now, only we remain. And our time has begun. So what do we do now?
Why do we ask? <clears throat> you, you, uh, uh, I mean, you, you said our time has come now. What exactly does it mean? Are we now the only existing creatures? Or beings? What does it mean that our time has come? Yes. If you were existent, so we failed. Do you feel like you did? Honestly, I didn't. I don't feel like we failed. I honestly don't feel anything. I feel numb yeah I feel indifferent ah. is there something you want When we started this whole thing, I wanted to learn the word of power. Why? I wanted to learn it to save my home. We have to find a way to the dragons. Who have escaped or fled or retreated to another dimension. We need those words to gain access. There is the mother of dragons coming Was. back to Was? Well, it feels like it has been thousands of years ago. No. Not thousands. Millions? Longer? Longer. So then this was for nothing. Well, this has been thousands and thousands, millions or whatever years ago, then I don't own anything. I don't think that ice wants anything. I don't think that cold wants anything. It is just there. It feels like it was for nothing, but I honestly don't feel... Like you said, I don't feel remorse. I don't feel hopeless like I don't I don't feel anything if if it's too late then it's too late there's nothing we can do about it now well trying to join? Yep. Uh, To 
understand. I have a certain sense that I do understand what this is about, but there's st still this part of me that... Oh... Wouldn't call it doubt. But there still might be something to learn for me here. And you think it's taken the word will explain things to you? It may be. Fine. Do you want it to? That was directed at Melora, I assume. I mean, who else is there to talk to? Oh, yeah. I I heard him say, like, what was it? Do you want it to? Is that what he said? That was about that, yes. Okay. Yes. Maybe we couldn't... There's not much we can do now, but maybe in the future it can help somehow. You're no longer here, Charlie. But you're both here. Well, there it is. Go and take it, if you so desire. But there is only one to give. So you better hurry. I start going for it. And you see one bright light away from you. The only light in this darkness. What do you do? I run towards it. Uh, I follow after him. You Not don't trying see to him. overtake him. You don't see okay. anybody. You are alone. I start heading towards the light. Yes. I continue. I try to be as fast as I can. You finished your checks. Athletic. Initiative. Right. It is making an athletics check. Hello? That's it. One more. There is another one. I want to inspire myself on this one. Sure. 23. One more. Adios, then Melora. Oh, I'm sorry. One more, Melora? And one more. You go first. <laughs> Did you roll already? I The last thing I Yes, did... she's been rolling in front of you. She oh, should be okay. rolling after you, but she's been rolling in front of you. Ah, I'm okay. sorry. Five. This. You rush towards the light. And you see it come closer. And you reach out your hand and you grab it. Finally, you feel. Oh, how hot it is. And you just see your hand go. <laughs> Laura, you do the same. 
and both of you here in your hands. I gave you all the time, and yet you understood nothing. The world has died, and yet you desire and hurry lost. You are a failure of good eyes. And with that, the world is black again, the boss. And with that, we're gonna restart the call to try and fix it. Yeah. So can that be right to everybody?
Alright, let me then fix fix everything again. I'm sorry oh, for I just video. That's fine. And Argus goes here, and Shraggy goes here, she's gonna join. Yes, yes, people without a camera for today, alright. Okay, <clears throat> so, I think, uh, Selim, can you hear us? All good on your side? Alright, so, in that case, let us go back to the freezing half of the party, or more than half, two thirds actually, who have spent about two months just chilling out, watching two ice statues, they're standing there. So, um, let's start on the light note. So, we had two months of downtime, uh, and I've had some uh, input from some of you about what would you like to do. Um, so, let's start with you people, and figure out your downtime, and see what happens in the time. A very exciting session, I know. At first you're just checking the mails and then you're doing downtime, but... Oh, so I didn't miss anything? No. Didn't miss anything. Awesome. Uh, Alright, uh, let's start with Zardos, because he was the first one to write to me. I believe you wanted to start trying to finish the coffin spell, right? I'm not sure. Yeah. Right, um, let's uh, get a couple of kind of checks from you. Let's see how fast you finish it. <clears throat> Are these at advantage or something? Because I'm so this. I'm. Uh, yeah, sure. Right. Give me one more. All right. So, um, don't do that. It takes you about two weeks to finish the spell and have it uh, tested and written in your book. Um, so, one second. <clears throat> So you basically remade some of the existing spells that the princess knew uh, into this new form, but you had to face a couple of problems. Uh, one, uh, you don't have a coffin that's quite made from expensive enough materials to properly hold the spell, which heavily cuts into its duration. And you want a lot more volume than the basic spell allows you, which also cuts into its duration. And last but not least, uh, the question is how energy heavy you want to make that spell. Three, four, or five, or higher. Um, what would the difference there be? Uh, the more energy you put into the spell, the longer it will last. I'd say at least four. All right, four. Okay, good. So I can't do five just yet, anyway. Yeah. Um. And do you remember how much your coffin cost you? Let me see if I have that. Uh, no, it was at least a couple hundred gold. Right. Not that much. Well, um, Zbot Princess is going to mention that you are at least in magnitude uh, of the actual money you want to put into this. Uh, so right now you can put in a force level spell slot and your coffin with enough earth in it to fill it up and leave just enough space for you. You can, uh, after 10 minutes of casting, hide on the serial plane for a week. 
you can call it back as an action. And it should appear next to you. And uh, you send it back the same way with an action. And after a week, there's a chance that your coffin is gonna get lost. The chance increases. So you better cast it again. Uh, but I will send you the full text, including the way you made it at the end of the session. I understand what's going on, but now you have a that works. Also, a spell slot to have your chest sequestered for a week if you uh, make uh, the proper coffin then you will be able to increase in duration or at least the princess says you should be able to all right that was two weeks um what else would you like to start doing after this uh, let's move on to the book um yeah uh one second Oh, did 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 this? Oh, of course, one, casting my spell that you did. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine weeks you have in total for two months. All right, so um, you're still not attuning to the tone, right? If I understand correctly. Right. So as you remember, the spell part is also written in pretty old language. So you need not only to decipher the arcane sigils themselves, but the language, all of it put, put together. And if I understand correctly, nobody in your company uh, has the language skills for it, or uh, speaks the 2000 year old language itself. So uh, let's start with the easy part. Let's start with deciphering the um, index of the book. So would you kindly roll me an arcana check for that to see how well you do that? Yeah, great. Uh, what was it? A six. All right. Uh, well. Um, as previously, as, as previously uh, investigated, uh, both um, parts contain uh, spells. One part is Lore of Death and one part is Lore of Shadows. And each seem to contain six spells. Sadly, that's all you figure out right now. So if you would like to spend more time on this, you're welcome to do or you can start blindly working on specific spells from each of the lores. Uh, I mean, when you say blindly, just well, pick right, one and... Yeah, yeah. Like, right now you have no understanding what each of the spells could be. It could be a... Keep your omelette light and fluffy spell, and you wouldn't know. You can try and figure out the descriptions with spending more time, or you can just say, Lord of Death, spell number three, I want to work on that. Yeah, I'll take a little more time. All right, then make me another check. All right, okay, that's good enough. So that's two more weeks. Um, you, take more information. Uh, yes, each lore contains uh, six spells. Uh, let's start with the Lord of Shadows. And you might want to start taking notes quickly. The first spell in this lore is a conjuration spell of second level. That seems to have something to do with confusing senses of creatures. You should be able to learn it. It is a wizard spell. The second spell in the lore of shadows is an illusion spell. It seems to have something to do with... Um, crushing the mind of a single creature. The third spell in the lore of shadows is also an illusion spell. It has something to do with 
corroding the minds of creatures until they are debilitated. The fourth spell in the Lord of Shadows is a transmutation spell. It seems to enhance weapons, to allow them to cut through mines. The fifth spell in the Lord of Shadows is an invocation spell. It summons shadows from the Shadowfell to raise and cut at your enemies. The sixth spell in the Lord of Shadows is, I, I think, um, I'll, let's keep going, I'll come back for a moment. The sixth spell is an invocation spell as well, that opens a portal to Shadowfell to tear apart and banish your enemies. Uh, and I think I forgot to mention, the 6th spell is level 4, the 5th spell is level 3, the 4th spell is level 3, the 3rd spell is level 2, the 2nd and the 1st spell are level 2 as well. That's as much as you learn with your checks. Lore of Death. Once again, 6 spells. Spell number 1. Level 1 Necromancy, that Wizards and tears away at one target. Spell number two, third level necromancy. Summons dead spirits to cause dread amongst a group of enemies. Spell number three, a fourth level necromancy that uh, sends waves of negative energy to weaken your enemy's will to survive. The force spell is a force level illusion that creates a wail of terror and sends it at your enemies to um, well yeah, lots of terror. <laughs> the fifth spell in the Lord of Death is a fifth level necromancy that materializes a purple sun of death energy to, well, sap the life of your enemies. And the sixth spell of the Lord of Death is a sixth level necromancy that tears apart a single target with necrotic energy. That's your index. Now, if you desire, you can start studying specific spells. Alright, cool. Um, how about that uh, Book of Shadows, the uh, Shadowfell portal thing? Alright. Uh, please make me another kind of check to try and figure out this spell. You're making progress, but you will need more time. Would you like to continue? Yes. Another roll. Alright, yep. With this, you have figured out the spell. You have transcribed it to your language, to your known way of jotting down spells. The spell is known as the Pit of Shades. It is a force level evocation with a casting time of one action and has a range of 120 feet, verbal, somatic and material components requiring a pouch of dirt from Shadowfell as a material component. Its duration is a concentration of one minute and for that minute it creates a 20 foot radius cylinder of shadows uh, with a portal in the center. For the duration, it causes uh, force damage to the creatures in the area and attempts to drag those creatures to the portal in the center. If the creature dies, 
in the spell and remains in it for another round. Its body is sucked to the shadow fell. I shall send you the text shortly. I'll give you a link to my notes later, I just need to figure out what I will need to give you links to, so just text so you can start it on your own. Yep. Uh, but you still have uh, one, two, three, four, five, four, no, three more weeks of downtime that you can spend on whatever you desire. So, any other spells you'd like to figure out or do something else? Uh, yeah, I'll try one more. The Start working on that purple sun one, that sounds kind of fun. Alright, the purple sun. Uh, make me arcana check, please. I believe you do arcana checks to scribe down like a spell scroll or stuff like that, right? As, as far wizard. as I can. Well, as a wizard, I mean for the class ability to write down spells. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that's not much progress. It's a pretty complicated spell. So, if you'd like to continue making another check. Alright, that's good. Um, Alright. So, good news, bad news. Uh, good news, you have figured out the spell. It is known as the Purple Sun of Nevekara. The bad news... Uh, yeah, you're pretty sure you've seen Said Nevek use it against you. Right, cool. It is a level 5 necromancy spell, as mentioned previously. It has a casting time of 1 action, a range of 120 feet, verbal and somatic components, a concentration of 1 minute, and creates a 20 foot radius uh, orb of uh, well, necrotic energy that lasts for the duration, uh, renders its targets with necrotic energy, and slowly moves around in a random direction. I'm gonna send you the text now and link you the original at the end of session. You have one more week. Well, you don't know you have one more week because you don't know when you're gonna stop, but you do have at least one more week of downtime. Um, weapon enhancement, sure. Uh, from Lord of Shadows, right? Yes. The first spell. Yeah. Uh, I have the DC set, make me another kind of check. Yep. Alright. Well, write the number down. It's gonna count for it. Alright. Uh, yeah, be right back. Alright, you do that. Uh, Tal, you with me? Yep. Alright. What would you like to do? You have sent me some stuff, but uh, did anything change your mind? No, didn't change my mind. Don't have really much. Mine is gonna be much less cooler than what Zardos did. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot something with him, but I'll do that when he comes back. Um, okay, well, you could try and start learning Draconic with Pidgeric, but as I've said, it's gonna be at a greatly decelerated pace, uh, which you would know, so would you still like to try, or Let's would you try... like to do something else? I'll try once. I mean, it's just about how much time you put into it. There's no checks involved, just putting time into it. Oh, okay. Because uh, I'm thinking, like, maybe Pedrick is not a good teacher, so I'm gonna. I mean, he first. is a decent teacher. He's not the best teacher because he's a paladin, not a scholar. But it's still hard to teach somebody a language when both of you don't speak each other's language. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so... Mm, wait, let me see what I sent to you. You wanted to gain some tools proficiency, I think? Yeah. Which you can do. Uh, the problem is, once again, uh, that usually to gain proficiency, you uh, need a teacher. So, unless any of the remaining people have proficiency with those tools and PJ don't have any proficiencies, uh, you'll basically once again be doing that at a much slower pace because you'll be teaching yourself. Mm. 
So basically, the only tools that we have here with the teacher is Arliss's thieves tools. I guess. I mean, what else is there? Uh, we have Melora's herbalism kit and Leos's flute, I guess. Um. Uh, well, unless Zardus knows any of that, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. And the problem yeah, is, so if you ask Arliss to teach you, he'll have he to. Won't. Yeah. <laughs> he what? He won't. What do you want to use thieves tools on? We don't have a jack shit for locks here. Like, there's literally <laughs> nothing to practice on. No, that's the wrong character again. Uh... I'm, I'm bored. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, Zardus okay, so... knows how to play dragon chess, but he's been busy studying magic, so... <laughs> yeah. So let's, I'll, I'll go with the Draconic. Alright. Uh, how much time would you like to dedicate to that? Let's try a month. Huh? Uh, well, a month is 30 days. So, um, well, make me an intelligence check to see how well you do. Just a straight intelligence? Yes. Um... Yes! Uh, what was it? I know oh, wow. uh, I know Kung Fu. What's your intelligence? Oh, yes, it's zero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what's the intelligence modifier? Oh, there it is. Uh, let me check. <clears throat> uh, well, I think he's slightly smarter than you with an 11, which doesn't help at all. All right, uh, let's say with that natural 20 you learn at half the speed that you usually learn, so you gain plus 15 days to your draconic studies. You need a total of 10 weeks to learn draconic. Wait, so, wait 15, what did I get? 15 days? Yes, you need 70 days of training to learn draconic. You've studied 15 of them. Yeah. Hmm. Would you like to continue or do something else? I'm looking at what I've sent you. There's not much else to do. I mean, you can... <laughs> I've sent you there. To be fair, training is a pretty prolonged downtime activity, and it depends heavily on your intelligence, and I'm kind of throwing you a bone by, by letting you roll for it. Uh, I'm not asking you for money. Mm -hmm. And you don't really have teachers, but... Yeah. Well, I guess I'll just go full-on Draconic. Right, then I'll throw you another bone, make me another intelligence check. Okay, this one's more like Trego. <laughs> Alright, that's... this much. Uh... <laughs> Let's go with this much. You gain 12 more days on Draconic training. So that's 15 27. plus 12, 27. So you have only to study Draconic for uh, 40 more days, 43 more days. Almost halfway there. Out of the was a teacher. Right. Uh, so finishing with uh, Trego. I want to go back to Zardus for a moment, because I forgot. Um, in your studies of the tome, um, you stumble upon a page that was previously blank. There is now text upon it. It reads in common. Hello, Zardus. I see that you have been partaking of my diary. I wish you the best of luck with studies. And I've been listening to stories of your ascension with great interest. Perhaps when you take the place of your brother, you will be interested in continuing a collaboration with me. Or perhaps you would desire 
some assistance with your studies. There's always a place, a great vampire among my followers. That's only message you receive. You're welcome to ponder if you would like to respond. And I'm gonna go to Arliss, who hasn't sent me anything about downtime. Yeah, I figured there wasn't jack shit to do in the first place. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna spend 60 days on inner enlightenment and be done with it. <laughs> well, somebody's mad at me. Hmm? Um... No, 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 I just don't, like, it feels so fucking strange to practice draconic. And that's the only real alternative, so I think it'll just be a whole lot of chilling. All right. Quite literally, though. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, sure. In that case, I guess we are all done with your downtime, because PG spends his turning to teaching Trigger. Did you want to learn Elvish? Uh... No. did it, like, way back when one to learn Elvish? Yes, it way back when hits it on the money and no, it doesn't, doesn't feel like something interesting to do right here. Alright. You can go try and make friends with the giants. <laughs> And that'll go well. I mean, worst case no, scenario. I just move on from downtime. All right. Personally. Uh, okay. In that case, a good two months pass for all of you. When there is a change in the chamber, you watch as both statues begin to melt, starting from their outstretched arms, at an incredible pace. Like they have been exposed to the heat of... Well, something very hot. Before you have time to scramble to your senses, they're just puddles where the statues were. Dead. Maybe melt up completely. I mean, you have to go in to check in details, but from where you can from where you can see, yeah. Was that supposed to happen? Might just be the became one with the eyes instead of separate from it. Or the dead? Should we go check? Yeah, I mean, check. thing is, if we go check and we are interrupting something, maybe we are ruining these two months we spent here. Sure. Honestly, uh, you are called Trago. Commune with nature might help here? Question? Mm, it might. Yeah, I'm gonna cast it. It says, uh... You gain some knowledge of up to three facts, blah blah blah. Terrain and bodies of water, prevalent plants, minerals, animals, or people. Powerful Celestials, Fey, Fiends, Elementals, or Undead. Influences from other planes of existence, buildings. Can I do people? How oh, many? Sh sure. <laughs> um, um, I mean, I guess you could determine the location of powerful people in the area. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Uh, Alright, would you like to go with that? Yeah. Uh, I already guessed it. Alright, uh, within 300 feet, there are four people. Four people? Yeah. Within 200 feet? 300 feet. 300 feet. Are we more than 300 feet than the, where the previous yes. three statues were? It's just us four. Hmm, but it's we're more than 300 us. feet away. 
No, from where? No, you are... No, from the Giants. Yeah, you're more than 300 feet away from the Giants, but you are well within 300 feet of the cavern. Oh, okay. You're more like 100 feet away from it. Yeah. Uh... Well, they were bodies of water for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, would you like to know the occasion of same drinking water? Yeah. <laughs> but what else do I want to know? Um... Terrain bodies of water, prevalent plants, minerals, animals, or people. Powerful celestials. Uh that that bear might be a powerful celestial. I we're told right? he's a primordial element. I don't have primordial there. It's elemental. Oh, elementals. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's go with elementals. Um there is a vogue presence of a very powerful elemental, yes. What? Hmm? Only one? Yes. Okay, yeah. The bear is here. Uh, what else? They're frozen puddles? You don't know. Maybe they're not yet frozen puddles. Shit. Uh... There is a lot of shit within 300 feet of you. There are like two months worth of four people shit within 300 feet of you. Let me use it for Tinder. Uh... <laughs> I mean, it definitely doesn't smell in this weather, but... Influence from other planes of existence? No, because we're already in Frostfell. Uh, let's go with bodies of water. <laughs> um, Literally they, bodies of water. There are no bodies of water within 300 feet. I was thinking maybe they melted down and combined into one puddle and we're gonna <laughs> come back as merged or something. I, don't know. I mean, I know if, I've seen people like turn to stone, but to ice? Well, if they did turn to stone, then not like we could do a whole lot either at the moment. Without Melora. Or can you get rid of that? I have Remove Curse and I have Lesser Restoration. Yeah. Don't think that was what they did in the past. Uh, Jesus. I mean, real thing, real thing. Um, Great Oak. I don't. I guess I have raised dead. That's not gonna work. Mm, I mean, uh, do you think they're dead? They're clearly not there. They, to be quite honest, I mean, what was it for the last one month, three weeks? They were see-through ice statues. I wouldn't call that there either. But... Mm. Would detect magic see through this barrier? To the 300 feet mark? Um, definitely not that far. But... Um, I mean, th there wasn't any magic when you went in. No, but they might be now under some influence or, I don't know. The puddles. <laughs> I'm just looking through my spellbook and trying to figure out something. I think the main question we gotta ask ourselves is um, Is this part of the process? If so, we we'll just continue waiting Well, there's a bear that it can answer that question The question is, is do we go and ask him? Mm, if we don't interrupt the process by going Yeah Downtime Limbo, yes It's been two months 
I'm I'm halfway to knowing Draconic. <laughs> With this guy, and I put it Pidrick. We've been drying in the snow for two months. <laughs> I'm Yeah, it's been lots of fun here. It's so great. Uh, there's somebody has a pen pal. You know, the thing is not like we're getting out you know how long without the two of them you know how long our journey back will be we have no it. way of interplanar travel <laughs> have, zero we have, we have to find find one of them portals somewhere yeah contact contact and Kazar would be one way to do, do that she can't come directly here either not without the key from here Till she'll be here, it'll be just as long. Well, I mean, take it take a little while to uh, wait waiting for pickup. It might be a little faster than walking out of here. What can I do? We took all their stuff before they we went out, so locate object it's not gonna work. I mean if they melted it's the only thing we can do if we're not leaving is just wait, I guess. Is it has to be part of the process of nothing else is happening yet. It's pretty much our only options say it's over and try to start looking for a way out, or keep waiting. Unless we want to go in there and risk possibly messing it up, I guess. Yeah, I'm not looking for that. I actually can get you guys out of here. Might be dangerous, though. Hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, I'll get you guys out of here. I'll you stop. mean you strand us somewhere on the material plane? Maybe thousands of kilometers away from wherever Aldana is? Maybe... Anywhere, really. Maybe. Still closer. Is it so? And that's one way to go. <laughs> But I have two spells. I have Banishing ah. Smite and I have Banishment. I'll... I was about to say, you got to smack us with it? <laughs> yeah, I'll probably have to smack you. I'll, I hope you guys know how to swim. It's a big planet with a lot of water. <laughs> Look, it's better than being stuck here, but I guess before we resort into that, because after going through my spellbook, that's the only thing I can think of for getting out of here. We just might want to go and ask the Mr. Bear Ice Guy there about it. Yeah. So what do you guys uh, think? Make me investigation checks, everybody. Um, Arnis, you don't see that divide between the cavern and your hallway. I think the barrier is gone. Not really? No. Uh, look towards it. I mean, there never was anything, it was just... Seemed like there was. But now it seems like there's nothing. Can I try and throw something in there? Uh, I mean, I'm are you strong Ar enough? I'm asking Arlen. Oh, okay. Because you know, last time he stopped me. I 
mean, if, I guess if that's gone, we can. It's okay to go in. Gonna... Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna stick my pinky finger through where I think the barrier is. Alright. Or was. Well, for starters, you will need a new pinky finger now. <laughs> yeah, that's why I stuck the pinky um, finger. And nothing happens. It's not colder? No, it's just cold. But like before I stuck it in. Yep. Huh. I should stick pinkies into more pla just kidding. Uh <laughs> as if you haven't. Uh it seems like we can enter. I also point to Pidrick like like there's nothing here. I do like a gesture with a hand. Ah, I know how you say that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Ah, uh, what kind of show? He looks at you like you're an idiot. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna waltz in. Yeah, I'm going in. Okay. I'll follow. All right. Pidgeek looks at Aris, looks at you, follows. Uh, what was his name? Uh, it's not like he will I understand you. Oh, right, you're the guy. Well, he can hear noises, though. Oh, Mind calling for him? <laughs> Hello? You still there? And Primordial. Should have learned Primordial. The snow lifts off the ground and coalesces into the bear's shape. All the way. Good. Can you ask him about the two people that were here two months ago? <laughs> what happened to our friends? Wait. What do you say? Failure. Uh, Where are they now? God. Do you mean? Does he mean dead? So you mean dead? Or you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm assuming Arles is translating. To what you do you mean by I am unliving. Eyes is unliving. Is there a way to get them back? Don't know. Not my job. <laughs> God damn it. Do you desire a challenge or a test? Uh, what is the difference? What what are the differences? I am not translating that. Oh, okay. Um, we need to leave. I, I'm not talking to it anymore. They're gone. 
this piece of garbage won't give them them back, so might as well leave. We need to contact Khazar. If we have any shot. We have no bodies. We have no way to get them back. Well, I Nothing. can't leave. And I what can you get mean? you to the... I can get you guys to the plane of material. I can't. No. No, that... That's... Not a plan. Kazar can get us. You remember the spell Leos learned from her? She has no problem getting us here. There's no way. It. There's no way. What do you mean there is no way? Just. There's no way. I'll I'll cast detect magic on myself and I'll have and I'll go around the room. Huh? I can make I try and scan the whole room. Yep, the bear looks at you curiously. There's no magic that you haven't brought in yourselves. We need this word. We need them more than this. And we need this. I say, get out of here. Contact Khazar. See whatever you can do to get these two here back. And have her regularly send a message for me. I, uh, I go up to where they previously stood. Do I see anything? Um, two relatively even ice puddles. I look at the bear and a point. What's that? It's there. The What's end. that? Ice. Looks like water. Is it them? Is it them? Not really. Mm. Okay, I'll go. There's a pillar right next to here. This one. Uh, and I'll point to this. Is this them as much as this is them? <laughs> Can I go? Are you okay? I don't think this is gonna be helping. I think I'm not leaving are... this place. What do you think you're gonna accomplish if you stay here? You think the thing there gives a single fuck about our friends? If you want Melora back, if we want Leos back, you need to go back to the material plane. You need Khazar. And I don't know how. I honestly don't. Because I don't know nobody who could get them back. Not with Salan gone.
فطر انت ريب مقينا والقوم They're not dead. They can't be. Now there's a whole other question here. I don't even think about if they are dead. Maybe there is no more getting them back. with who is in charge now. Raven Queen has lost that fight. Get Khazar and get out. Don't see any other way. I will turn to the ice spirit and ask it Will you allow uh, for a portal to appear for us to leave? A four What? A portal Yes Leave the sanctum. They will. I'm staying. Then is it a challenge? Sure is. What is he saying? You see snow I'm rising telling. and gathering around the bear as it swells. This is a gargantuan form. And you need to leave this sanctum before you contact Khazar. He will not allow a portal to appear in here, is what I'm gathering. Thank you, Sting. We need the word. All the more if we don't have the two of them and we can't get them back. Don't Then I no accept your challenge. Roll for Nishti Farmers. I said. You've just issued a statement of challenge to this creature. I thought we were doing a test. You issued a challenge to him. Sure, let's end the game here. That sounds good to me. Oh wow. Um. Oh wait. Up she's for me. I'm an idiot. Huh? So uh Arvis, you see that Perhaps the words you used weren't what you thought they meant. For the creature has assumed its combat ready form 
and seems ready for a swing. However, you get to go before it. And for the sake of this, Trigger and Zardas, you might as well go on this chapter. And Egypt, I guess. I mean, I'm not first to go now, so... Okay, then before that happens, Zardus, you notice that... Well, you all notice the creature gathering the snow and swelling and shape back to the form it had when it met you the first time. It seems poised for battle. What would you like to do? Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what's going on here? I don't think this is necessary. To try to calm things down. I don't know. Uh, you know. At least get ready just in case. But trying to calm things down. Is there an action you're doing, or...? Um... Just telling the bear to... Wait, this isn't what we want. I... Sir, I just not gonna understand me shit. Um... Make a precision check at disadvantage? Eight. Alright. Okay, you do that. Anything else you'd like to do? Yeah, I'm getting my weapons out just in case, but yeah, that's oh. it. I am pretty sure it's not gonna misunderstand that. Uh all right. Or at least ha hands on weapons just like Okay, 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 okay. That case artist, what do you do? Well, I saw it swipe at Melora and uh, Leos at the start of their test, so I assume this is the same. And I will just take it. Alright. Uh, well, as you just stand there, it is... It's done. So... What's its reach? Yep, you're within its reach. Um, well, its giant head reaches towards you and attempts to bite you in half. <laughs> um... 19 to hit. Resist. I don't resist. Alright. Oh. You take 36 points of piercing damage. Mm -hmm. And then it follows up with a stomp. With a 24 to hit. Or 21 points of bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. uh, Trigger! You saw the creature attack Arliss. Anything you would like to do? What the fuck? Uh. I'll take a Sun Warrior. I'll go up to him. And I will shout to Arliss and to Lee, uh, to Zardos and to Kidrick that probably doesn't understand me. Get out! Any skills? Uh, he's gargantuan, right? Oh, uh, he is. Let me just see for a sec. Mm, I'm taking the dodge action. 
Huh? And then I'm just being, I'm just imposing myself between the two. Yeah. At the end of your turn, ignoring you completely, he raises his paw once again and smacks at Ardis with a 25 to hit for 24 points of bludgeoning damage. Um, Pidgeric has no idea what is going on. So... He will come up to Aris and try to grapple him. Is Aris resisting? Mm. Yeah, I think so. Right, then... Rolof? I can't beat that. In that case, he... tries to... Uh, he doesn't try, he does drag you and feet in the direction which is as far as he can drag you. Um, I've used only one edge direction, right? Yeah, I think so. But at the end of his turn, Bear slams the ground, causing uh, ice and snow to can jump in the air and smacks one of the large ice chunks like it was a tennis ball and sends... Uh, why did I do this? And sends it uh, at Arvis with a natural 19. I think that's a hit. Mm -hmm. And that's 31 points of bludgeoning damage. You down? Yes. Is that us? Um, so, so I'll move over and help Pedrick get Arliss out of here. What the heck's going on? All right. Uh, you're welcome to drag him as you desire. He is now an object. Well, not quite, but he cannot resist your grapple if you wish to. So you can take him as an action and move him. Uh, I think it's your full speed even, because you're strong enough and he's not resisting. So you do that, and anything else you, you want to do on your turn? Um, once again, saying to the bear, though he, though he does not going to understand me, just, what is going on? Alright, Aris, make me a death saving throw. Alright, that's success. It's the bear's turn. He kind of like leans down towards you, Trevor, his muzzle right in front of your face, and goes <laughs> and then roars loudly. Anything you want to do? It's my turn? Yes. I'll, uh, back off. No. Did he try swing at me or something? If you think he's reaching five feet, you are underestimating him. Okay. <laughs> you just saw him smack Arliss 20 feet away. I'm gonna... I'm gonna cast... Uh, aid on Arliss. Oh, nice. Well, you do need to go 10 feet lower oh, yeah, if to, you yeah, desire, yeah, so, but yeah. yeah. In that case, uh, yeah. um, Aris, you are now at 5 hit points. 
um, Jurik will assist, I guess, Zardos in escorting of Ardis off out of the chamber. Uh, Zardos, would you like to continue moving him on your turn? Ardis, are you resisting? Zardos? Yeah, as long as he's waked. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Then let's say you all retreat from the room, because I assume that's what's happening. And as you do, the bear dissipates into thin air once more. With that, let's go take a break while...
Uh, right. And we're back. So, you retreated out of the cavern where the ice bear has suddenly decided to beat up Arliss. You are outside of it. Um, the bear has disappeared, seemingly uninterested in pursuing you any further. What would you like to do? What the hell was that all about? I don't know. I thought I was asking for the same thing they did, but apparently that's not what I did. Or it what? misheard me, I don't know. What did you say? It asked if I was looking for a challenge and I said yes. I think that's what they said the last time too. Or was it test? Maybe the yeah, no, I guess yeah, they're saying test. I think so. <sighs> well, doesn't change anything about this. You three should get out of here and uh, contact Hazar. Do I'll gather think... my strengths and. Ask him for a test instead. Do you think a uh, locate creature might work? I don't I know think it today. They're gone. But yes, go ahead and try it. I don't think he will have any success, but please do exhaust every option we do have, because at least we will have tried. Well, that's just going to be for tomorrow, because I don't have it prepared today. We waited two months, and who knows how time flows here. We can easily wait another day if you like. Do we have a way to contact Kazar? Uh, I can use sending. Yeah, prepare it. Seems like the only real option forward from here, so might as well. We could. Is challenging him gonna get us the word? I highly doubt it, and I highly doubt we can take him without those two. He might return them if we beat him. <laughs> I asked him if there was a way to get them back, and he said it wasn't his domain or something he did. I don't think he can. I think they're gone. He turned them into ice. He could probably bring them back. If he beat his, the shit out of him. I mean, I'm willing to ask. I don't mind. Well, you seem kind of hurt. Let's take a rest. In the meantime, Zardos, call Kazar. Tell her everything that happened. And I'm just going to sit here and... How about we wait for tomorrow? If you want to test your option, what's one more day? Also, we could, if the challenge doesn't work, or maybe we want to try the test first and then challenge. You know what test first means, right? No. It means waiting here for another two months at least. What Leos and Melora did was to test. Maybe this time we don't wait two months. Maybe this time we just enter after a day. I don't think that's how it works. If you remember the barrier, I don't think that's how it works. 
Dan, out of character, how long did the barrier last for? Uh, for until they melted. That's why you can tell. Until they melted? Yeah. And that's two months. Okay. Okay, so we wait for tomorrow, try locate creature, and then challenge him. Also talk to Kazar before. I'm I'm gonna ask. I don't think there is I don't think he can bring them back. But I'm gonna ask. Okay. But I wouldn't plan on that. I know it's hard, but I think we need to find another way. Ask him also if the challenge either gets us Melora and Dios back or it gets us the word. Sure. In the meantime, I guess I'll start a fire with all this poop we have here. I will just wait for a short rest before I walk on back in. One moment. Uh, yeah, you do the short rest. I'm doing some mental maths. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, figure it out. That's a convenient way to roll. Oh wait, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, okay, uh, so protest finished? No? Yes. Alright. Then, sure, if you wanna walk back in, walk back in. I walk back in. If, yeah, we'll uh, does everybody walk in with him? Yes, we gotta get a man in there. <laughs> yeah. And please put yourselves on the map. I mean, if you think standing further away from the center of the room is gonna mean the bear is gonna be further away from you, then sure. <laughs> he appears uh, right behind Arlis. Yeah. yeah. Um, Alright, so... What you say? Hello? Are you still there? You wait a bit as the snow gathers again, this time from the outset into the large polar bear form. Are you still looking for a challenge? No, I think there was a bit of a misunderstanding there. I thought we were gonna do the same thing you did to my friends. Not this. So, but it doesn't matter. I want to rushed. To... I wasn't rushing, I don't think. I was not resisting. Yes. But like they didn't. You weren't. So as for my question. If we as a group were to challenge you. Would you give us the word if we beat you? Or would you give us back our two friends if we beat you? I will give you the word. Your friends... Scrape them if you desire. 
I will repeat that in common. Do we know what would be the meaning of beating him? Is it completely or to a point? Is there any stipulations on that? I don't know. Ask him how, how can we bring them back, even if it's not his job. Is there a way to bring them back that you know of? Wait long enough. You won't care. Yes. As for rushing into answers, that seems exactly like it. What did he say? The out of character also he's, didn't really hear it. He said that we should just wait until we don't care about them anymore. That's one way. Doesn't really answer the question of how to get them back, but, you know. Yeah, I don't Maybe... think he can help us with that, as I told you. No, wait. Maybe because cold or ice doesn't care. Maybe? I'm trying to be optimistic. Yeah, I think you are being a little too optimistic about the shit we are in. Because when you're cold, then you're cold-hearted, then you don't care. Well, at least we know how to get the word. Are we told, told if we kill this thing that that we dead? I believe we won't kill it. We'll just challenge it to a duel. Yeah, unfortunately, we won't. I say we contact Hazar tomorrow. Or today, for all I care. Alright, let's go. Let's go think about it. I still think the wait until you don't care means maybe you're turning to ice and all that stuff. Could be. Or maybe we don't care because they're back. I don't know. I will never not care as long as I'm alive. Also, when I'm dead. Very trivial of you. So let's go back to the hallway and wait. Yeah, let's go back to the hallway and contact Kazar. Um, did you expand Locate Creature? I know, I didn't have it. No, I didn't mean to do that, and I don't have it prepared today, so that's why we're waiting for tomorrow. Oh, it's today, right. Uh, yeah, but then are you sending anything today? Uh, yeah, well, I need to prepare it. It's... I wasn't planning on, so I have to do that in the morning. Um, okay, I mean, sure. Uh, would you perhaps like to check for methods to bring your friends back? Consult a specialist? Ask yeah, a friend? That, that would be nice. Well, I'm just meaning that you might have more friends than the others, no. Oh. <laughs> Sure, I'll write my pen pal overnight and see what he knows. If he has them or not. 
Because that would make a difference. I mean, write out a letter. I'll read it. I love letters. I've never received one. Uh, Alice, Trega, what do you think? Waiting. Yeah. I'm just, I'm probably like, if he's sending to Kazar, I won't interrupt. But if he's asking, like, what to send, then I'll tell him, like, hey, mention this and mention that and tell her everything that happened here. Right. Well, then I need a sending and I need any other letters you would like to. Yeah, I'll just, uh, it's my pen pal, just. Alright, and the sending? <laughs> Alright. Um, so, if you wait for a response, uh, We wait for about half an hour. And then. Oh, actually, wait, roll media 20. It might fail. Alright. You wait for about half an hour. And then you. Hear in your head. Turn to a motorcycle. <laughs> I'm sitting there looking, looking confused as I hear this. Thing. What did she say? Ah. That doesn't sound like Kazar. She was. I think she was talking really slow. I'm not really sure what's that. I mean, that only makes sense. You need to go outside. No, she was talking to Spain too fast. What do you mean outside? Outside of this sanctum. Because in here, time flows differently. She wouldn't have waited two months without contacting us if she if time would flow normally here. It must be different in some way. What do you time? What? Oh, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna listen to you. Let's go out and do your mumbo jumbo thing. We can't talk to the giants though. But whatever. Uh, I think they may at least let us out. Getting back in if we need to. And if they yeah. don't, we kill them. Sure. Let's try and avoid that. I've never killed the giant before. No. So, uh, are you leaving right now without long rest? Um. Uh, yeah. Do, do you still have something? Yeah, I still have slots for it. Yeah, so let's try and do it today. Also, when we get to the Giants, I'm going to try and hand gesture them that later I'll come back. <laughs> um, sure. I mean, that well, Maybe Leos and Melora are 
somewhere else. Try sending something to them. Go ahead. Try. Huh. How many sendings do you have today? Uh, two more the third levels, then upcasting for more. Okay, that's worth a shot. Well, actually, no, I have three more third level if I want it. It's, it's on Pearl of Power. Well, more he fun. also was supposed to, I think yesterday, expand the first level spell slot. Well, it was yesterday. On your coffin. But it's not counting. Alright, so. Are you sending anything? Uh, sure, I'll try sending a message to Leos. Just. Are you okay? Where are you? Roll me the 20. <laughs> really? I'm gonna talk to you when you get an answer. So, are you waiting for an answer? Are you leaving? Going to the Giants? Uh, haven't heard anything back yet. Should we wait a bit or just try to go? I don't think contacting the dead works, so... We don't know for sure They're that they are dead. dead. I mean, I, I hate to say it, but Trego's optimism is a little infectious at times. Good. It's at least like to hold out some kind of hope. And if time right. is moving, time is moving differently out there, then let's hurt to wait. For all we know, it could be another part of the test. Why don't paladins learn optimism spell? Okay, so let's go out of the sanctum so we can hear Kazar not as a murder cycle. <laughs> murder cycle, yes. Murder cycle, yes. Uh, awesome. Alright, so you uh, start going back down the icy tunnels as you are coming this direction. But it's been a while since you passed through, but then again there is not much place to get lost. At least this time you don't have Leos to get around. After a bit of walking you reach the first giant uh, patrol, I guess you could call it like that, who gives you a look, kinda mentally counts you, gives you a shit eating green, and doesn't do anything. Good. I wave at him. And then Sardis, okay, try to send it here. Try again here. Yes. Uh, one second. Send it again. Such a big question. Such a, such a big question. Roll me the 20, please. Um, okay, that's better. There is a significant pause. Alright, starting out about the same. Still <laughs> waiting. Hmm. 
you get a response. Yes, it would be a big fight. Can you return? You did manage to resurrect the kid. Now who's going to be afraid of that? Okay, that one went through okay, and I will repeat the message. Is she talking about you, Arliss? A way to get us back? Yeah. I thought uh, she meant that you got me back from the dead. Yeah, that's what she's probably meaning. But it's not like we have any of those options anymore. Tell her I can... Banish you to a random point in the material. Tell her we don't have a way to come back. Tell her to pick us up from the swimming pool. We need a car. Mom, can you pick us up, please? All right, you got it. Roll my d20. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I assume the meaning is somewhere around that. Mm -hmm. Essentially. <laughs> <laughs> either either that or and tell her like Trego says he can banish us, but that's not safe. You really want to banish them, right? It's hilarious. Come on. I mean, as much as I would like to find the globe of Struna and just throw a dart into it randomly while spinning, I don't have a globe or a dart. <laughs> uh, I don't need the D twenty from you. Oh, you are. Coming up with an actual message. Um, okay, sure. Uh, grandma. Uh, yes. Okay. There is another long pause. Great. I don't have a gate to Frostfell. Alright, so your car can't can't get here. What? No. The the spell she got from Leas? Or the other way around, I guess rather. And he said he could just give a name and he would call someone through a portal. If that portal stays open, we can all jump, so I don't know how it works. Don't look at but... me when it comes to magic. Okay. Uh, since we do not have a way to turn back, how about we tell her that we're going in for the big fight. Uh, wish us luck. <laughs> Are you going for a big fight? Tomorrow. I mean, sure. We're going to challenge, right? Are we going to test her challenge? I'm asking Arlison. Sardis. Alice, do you want to test first before we challenge, or do you want to challenge and then like back off if there's something goes really wrong and then test? I guess. I don't know. Sure. Hmm. I mean, eventually. No, 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 too late. Yeah, okay. Anyway. I mean, go ahead. Let's... We can... I still think that if we get the word, we can bring them back. Kazar doesn't know really much about Frostfell. She hates ice. I say it nice. She ain't the only one. 
Also, she's not really good with bringing back uh, corpses. I mean, other than Leos, because, you know, well, uh, I mean, she didn't even bring him back. She just had a plan B for someone else to bring him back. We can do this. It's hurting the try. Alright, so if I understand correctly, the four of you plan to challenge the Guardian to a fight in order to get a ward. And you're hoping that that ward will bring back Leos and Melor. Am I hmm. understanding you correctly? No, the last part only applies to certain members. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Do not uh, carry that hope. Well, Pijirik definitely don't... don't hope anything because he doesn't quite understand what you're doing no but the word can only be used by a person i know this as trego with a ninth level spell slot whatever yes we all do not have that but if we have the word we can teach it then to someone who knows which is kazar i have a nice level spell slot you do yes okay so yeah so then we can use the word to bring him Back, turn ice into humans, I don't know. You're, you're no cold. Yes, I'm sure that's how it will work. Yes. <laughs> Let's All see right. if we let us back in or if we need to slaughter. No, we're still in the tunnels, right? We haven't gone all the way out? Or... Uh, yeah, we're going back in. You didn't say that you did, so... No, no, we... No, we're okay, going back in. Okay. Yeah, in that case, we can go back in. Let's Going back in. in. Right. Pressing yeah, for the, I mean, the giant guardian was just watching you with great interest. He says something as you're leaving. Judging by the tone of his noise, it doesn't sound like an encouragement. Okay. Figured that much. Good for I think him. he said it's our funeral, but uh, I don't think they know what funerals are. Ah. Uh, all right, uh, so you head back on in uh, to the mouth of the cave, I assume. Mm -hmm. And what now? Now we chill. Wait now for we chill. Room. All right, so chill you... some more. Uh, just in case, just because if we're resting anyway, mm -hmm. try Leo some Melora again, just. Because... Okay, go for it. I mean, you don't have to type. Yeah, just yeah, roll mid-20. Just... Roll mid-20. Please roll me one, that would be really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no contacting yeah, your head. Try... Okay. Alright, I'll talk to you when you get a response. Um, anything else you want to do for the rest of today? Uh... Check my book to see if there's a response there, I guess, huh? before we go to sleep. Uh, yeah, uh, there is a response that reads, Why, well, yes, I do. Why are you asking? Out of character, what did you ask? If they had their souls. <laughs> He's lying! He's fucking lying. I mean, Zardas hasn't okay. told us anything, so... I know. Yeah, and I'll just... fucking lying. Can you see through the book if he's lying? I'm just kidding. Yes, I inside check the book. Uh, Robin inside check. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think that really works. You see the, the book's irises go wider when he speaks. That means he's lying. Yeah, the book has a slight chuckle on... Also, yep. you have it's a totally book. What were you expecting? <laughs> yep. So yeah, I'll just apply. We want them back. Huh? Can you make that happen? You wait a bit and then see. I'm totally not stealing this from a certain movie. A certain movie is stealing this from D and D. Letters appear, kind of like seeping through the paper. It is negotiable. What are you offering in exchange for their 
can do one. There's no lord up here. What will it cost? Everything. <laughs> Meanwhile, Trigger's trying to learn the word in Draconic for hope. You get... You wait a little bit, and you get a message back. Two things. A show of friendship and a pain. A tune to the book. And make me a promise. I missed the last part. Was it a what in the book? A tune to the book. And promise me to souls. I'll give you the names. You send them to me. So just out of curiosity, guys, how badly do we want to make this happen? If, we, if there was a way to get them back, what would you guys be willing to do? What are you talking about? We're doing it. I mean, we're going to challenge the guy, and we're going to get the word, and Narlis is going to use the word to bring them back. Okay, well, outside of that... That wasn't going to work. Anything? Anything else be up for grabs? What are you saying? Just curious. You got a method bringing them now? Sure, do it. I don't know about now, but like, just checking. What? Just sort of. What? What, what is it? Do you have, like... I look at the book, because he's holding the book, right? I don't have to him, if he was writing in secret. And it's open. I mean, by this point, I've probably closed it as I'm thinking over what's happening. I'm just Did saying... I... Princess again? No. I know they're very important and can make a lot of changes in the world for the better, so there might be a way. Go on. I hold up the book. So... You've been text messaging the other gods behind our backs? Uh, just one. <laughs> it, it, look, it, 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 catfishing, all right? I thought it was someone else at first. Turned out this dude, this weird dude this whole time, right? I, I, I didn't realize. He's lying. He's lying. He's lying, and he'll get you to attune to the book and promise. What is this, two souls? If he has their souls, then... They're not dead. They're puddles. There's a difference. <laughs> the bear even said that they're not really dead. Drago, you know there's a difference between optimism and delusion. I'm not... You're scraping that barrier very hard. 
You're not dead. I know it must be very hard. I he said it! Sure. There you go, he's only mostly dead. We get the word. I will try to get them back. And if not, then we look on. Now let's wait. Rest. Okay. So we're long resting? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, steady spells. Um, that is, do you check the book again? Uh, occasionally I'll keep peeking at it just in case. Uh, out of curiosity. That is just one more message. Judging by my recent guests, you're in a pickle. You might want to turn into that book anyway. It'll give you more power. That's the only message that is there, un unless you write something. <laughs> so before we long rest, I'm like, so are we going to challenge this thing tomorrow? Yes. Guess so. Unless Alice wants to do the test, or... I don't know if we can... If, if I can do the test and then pass the word to someone else? No. Yeah, so no. So only Arliss can do the test. But I think we have maybe better chances than just challenging him heads on. I mean, you can do the test. The second link, the test. It could come handy. So we all just go in there and have a seat and test it out? You could. I'm not saying you couldn't. This is not a game. I don't have a programming. Well, uh, I mean, I assume right now you're taking a long rest in any case. Yeah. So, take a long rest, reconsider your choice of spells for tomorrow, reconsider whether you need to do some more penmanship, and tell me what's happening in the morning. I assume, Trager, you using your. Uh, Halfway there, knowledge of Draconic to sign to Pijirik as an approximate. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll be yeah. the translator. <laughs> I'll try and summarize this. I mean, you, you're basically trying to talk to him in Draconic as a way it said him could right now try to talk in Russian to me. Mm -hmm. I guess. Oh, <laughs> it's not. I hope it's not that bad, honestly. Shrega basically has like a certain collection of words that he knows without any idea on the exact meaning of those words or how the grammar works or how you're supposed to string them together properly. So it's more like we fight bear tomorrow. Oh no, there's no word for bear and draconic. Fuck. <laughs> we fight. That. Yeah, kind of like Big that. Big thing. Uh, Pichlik, uh, me vid mier, or something like that. Uh, I have no idea what you said, but sure. <laughs> exactly, I'm trying to say it in Russian. Uh, you did? Oh, okay. Uh, so? Huh? I sent it in Discord. Me, wait, let me try and pronounce it. Me vid mier? Oh, okay, sure. So anyone wants to try and read this? Mevedermie? Uh huh. Yeah, Not okay. Close. Or Dirmie, I'm not sure how to say it. Dirmie. Dirmie, yeah. Dirmie. Why am I explaining to you how to say shit in Russia? Let's move on! 
Bart says we are in shit. Um. Okay. So not dressed. Uh, you do get that. Okay. Let me uh, swap around a few spells. Let no check. Check spell slots. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I think that should do it. I just need the one spell, so I'll move that. Okay, yeah, so no wrathful smite. I don't think this guy can fear me. Hmm, that's a good question. Let me check. Hmm. It's like a, an elephant scared from a mouse in the cartoons. <laughs> You'll have to find out. Uh, I won't, because I unlearned that and learned something else. Okay, so up in the morning, I'm gonna cast these. Where is it? There we go. Uh, okay. Melora. Uh huh. There is no Melora within the house of Fitter. Okay, okay, okay. How about this? I cast this Melora. There is no Melora within the house of Fitter. There's no Melora object? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if she's a puddle, she's a not. No? Okay, I don't know. I mean, well, now we should be... wait for. Go ahead, sorry. I say this. It is well known that there is a ghost within five feet of you. So, for all you know, Melora could be rubbing up against him. Your spell has failed. Please do not objectify your wife. Yeah. <laughs> Please try again with a higher level spell. Got it. Okay. So I tell the group, listen, I tried locate person uh, on Melora, nothing. I tried also locate objects because <laughs> maybe she's an object now. Don't look at me like that. And it also failed. Uh, so yeah, I, that that's my so try. We should wait another day now. Uh, how come? Because you're not at full strength. Oh, that, that's a, just one spell slot of the fourth and one spell slot of the second. I, I still have two from each. Also, I don't know if we you noticed. We are four. We are three and a half more like. We don't have <gasps> two. Oh, yeah. And you think it's going to be okay if you're not at full power? We need to go all out if we want to have any shot at this. All right, you're right. You're right. Make Pat Pidrick on the back. That that's one of the back. Yeah. He says in common because he also caught a couple words from Dragon. Pidrick is also certified days through the he's gone. Well, a bit more because he started so now. Yeah, it should be more by now because he was learning before. Alright. Did, uh, did I get a day for this? <laughs> what? Do I get a day for this if you're no. staying? Okay. Alright, so you spend another day um, waiting for Dragon to recover. Do you want to, I don't know, do more sendings? Right, study, play golf. I mean, learn draconic. That's what I've been doing for the past two months. Sure, you gain another third of a day. Damn it! All right, I'll take it as a no. A day passes. Now the morning comes. You have. Getting tired of sleeping on the icy floor. I mean, you do have your tents and so on, but you no, know, it's still not the same as putting them on the ground. But you've got your spell slots back, you've got your hit points back. Uh, what you do? What you gonna do? 
walk on in one last time. Uh, yeah, uh, before I do that, uh, because I don't want to do that, and because I think somebody is currently falling asleep, uh, I shall give uh, Jesse and Seluka access to Pijik. You are fighting against him for this fight. So, you're welcome to acquaint yourself with his character sheet and Jäger him. Or take turns, I don't know. Also, check if you have the spell to uh, bring back Melrandius. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, do check the spell slots. There are some you might want to cast uh, before uh, you engage in combat. Uh, so... I don't have an info. I don't see like a player sheet. Yeah, you have to give us e editing rights. Oh, I didn't? Uh... Yeah, I guess I didn't. Uh, what did I do? Oh, yes, I only put them in your journal. How about now? There's the camera up there. Right. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cast Death Ward. <coughs> eh, I'm gonna cast Death Ward uh, three times. All right. So uh, on Arliss, on mm -hmm. Zardos, and on. Pidrick? Yeah. On Pidrick. You don't need him, yeah. Pidrick gives a surprised look. Uh, there is a marker for Death Ward. I have made one. Yeah, uh, put put uh, markers Death Ward on yourself. Some of you might even recognize it, although I doubt it. I have heavily edited it. Oh. Do you recognize it? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I would not have recognized it if I saw it like this. But it's, I mean, it's been a while since I played, not you. It's all been right. a while since I played. Well, I mean, you've been watching, but yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright. Um, any... Jesse, you still don't see him? No, and I got all my sub menus open. I you, God damn it, clock! I don't uh, see it. It should be in NPCs and familiars. Yeah, the only one I see is Heron's wings. Um, try again. There it is. All right. Look. Okay. Thank you. Even thank you. I'm giving you a character, and you're not getting a character. Don't try it quietly in Discord because I could notice it in like half an hour. I was waiting and I was at least gonna wait until you stopped talking and then I would have asked I never stopped talking. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um yeah, any other spells you wanna cast? Um I can I give uh Patrick a hold action? Uh, uh no. The, mo the moment when the combat starts. No. Uh we're all initiative and whatever happens when your initiative happens. Because okay. in that case, uh, the enemies can also hold their actions for when initiative starts, which means that's what the initiative is. There are some spells in Pidgeot's arsenal that I would advise you to cast. Uh, a zone comment. of truth. That's, yeah. that's a good one, yes. Uh, Alright, but for Zardas, Artis, and Tregas, that's all. That's all you cast. Uh, let me now, yeah. the rest are going to be. In well, I'm giving you two more time because you don't know what he has. That's why I'm asking the three of them. Uh, so let's start while you check his character sheet. Protection as... from evil and good on Pidrick. Against elementals. Oh yes, that might have been the spell I was thinking about. Oh, okay. uh, there is a marker for protection from evil and good. Uh... Uh, also, put death ward on him. Okay. Uh, I'm not casting a spell, but I'm drinking the one potion of cold resist that I have left. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. The, uh, what was that about Death Ward? On uh, Pidgeot has a Death Ward, yeah. yes. Thank you. Alright. Uh, yeah, sure, that, that would work. Um, He's gonna cast Sanctuary on himself. A sanctuary lasts a minute, oh, I think. I, I mean, if he can, I'm not gonna stop him. Uh, I guess not. That's okay. All right. We don't know how long this will take. Uh, in that case, I we guess walk you walk on in, and Tardis, you call for the bear. Yes. 
Ooh. Hello, you there? Again. Always. Excellent. We have decided that we four want to challenge you all as one. Will it be a proper challenge? I hope no, so. we don't. We don't let him, to let him know we don't want to kill him. What do you mean by proper? You fight, I fight. You die, you die. We're not, we're not looking to kill him. We're not looking to kill you. We're looking for you the can't. One. I can. He can kill himself. I don't get it. No, he means he can kill us. Oh yeah, for sure. He did. Well, he didn't. No, he no. did not. I mean, whatever is required for the world. If a proper challenge is required for the world, then a proper challenge it is. Good. Are is you prepared? Is it required for the world? Yes. Then yes, we are prepared. And let us begin. Roll initiative, boys. Let's try. Oh yes, oh yes. There's a difference between... Uh, what's the op opposite of optimism? Skeptic skepticism? No, skepticism is not... Pessimism. Right. Pessimism, thank you. Um, You're welcome. Okay, okay that's a very good initiative roll from uh, Bear. Well, it is bearable. Um, much unlike that pun, you mean? <laughs> uh, Alright, so we have... Trigo! Uh, Zardos! Pidgeric! And Arles! Trigo! Go for it. Okay. Uh, I am going to cast as a bonus action a uh, shield of faith. Oh, wait. Let me switch our thingy. Here and switch here. Oh, wait. Okay, and I'm casting it on Arliss. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, uh, don't forget to concentrate. Yes, otherwise, uh, you yeah, won't get the spell. Yeah, I was about to put it on. So, uh, yeah, Shield of Faith on mm -hmm. Arliss. Arliss, you may add Shield of Faith. Good. Don't get, don't die. I'm sure it's gonna save you. I'm, I'm hoping. Sure is. Uh, yeah, gonna walk right up to this boy and s spear him. And... You do that. I'll go preparing all the dice I will need for this. I need more dice. Uh, would you like to... Mm, okay, never mind. Ah, uh, pa 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 Seventeen misses, uh, twenty-five hits. Is that Kelsey one of them? Uh, no, that's my no, that's it. All right. Oh, wait, maybe maybe uh move like here-ish. Yeah. 
Okay, that's it. Then that's my turn. All right, good on you. Uh, in that case, Azardus. Oh no, wait. No, 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 no. As you strike him with your spear, he shall use one of his legendary actions to smack you with his foot. It was he bear. Alright. Well, this is a 27 to hit. Yep, that hits. Alright. In that case, it hits you for... For 30 points of... No, 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 never mind that. Wrong die. Uh... Twenty-nine points of bludgeoning damage. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, I kind of lost track. So in that case, Zados, it's your turn. Okay, I will step up and. Shadow Blade as I do. Alright. As a reminder, this whole room is in dim light. Cool. It is cool indeed. Level 5, nice. Oh dear. I'm gonna get this, ain't I? Um, 25 does hit. So does 23, and so does 13. And it's custom like that? Oh, that's it. Just another step over there. Alright. Pidrick! Oh, wait. Uh, before you do that. Uh, bom, 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 bom. I'm safe from Trevor, by the way. Hmm? Yes, consideration. consideration check on Dragon. Alright. Uh, DC 14. Alright. Um, there goes shield. That's why I hate concentrating. I'm a barbarian. Alright. <laughs> okay. uh, at the end of your turn, uh, Bear is gonna. Bear handle Zardos and slap him with his bare hands for 20. 20? The head, yes. I'm uh, rolling very well. Shield. Alright. I'm rolling very well. Okay. Uh, Pidgeek's turn. Alright. Uh, he shall use his sacred weapon ability. Um, right. Which gives him 20 foot uh, bright light and then 20 foot dim oh light. No. Oh and no. he is How going nice. to move over here next to Trego. Okay. We good, we good. And then he is going to cast um, Sanctuary with his bonus action on. Uh, Arliss. Now one second. And that's his turn. Mm, that's overkill. That's I'm gonna light. remove the dim light aura. Fuck it. I'm leaving only the bright light. Why are we doing the light thing? Uh, because yeah. if Zardas is within that light, he doesn't get he doesn't get advantage. Oh, uh, okay. Sun Warrior is for sure doing some light. Uh, how much? Uh, bright light in a twenty foot radius and dim light. Yeah, you don't touch him. Foot. Don't have to worry okay, about him. Just about, yeah. All right, I did use that aura as well. The struggle of ha having torches as weapons. 
Let's go like this. It's like the light versus uh, the dark. Yeah, that is a pretty dark footage. Alright, um... Okay, 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 okay. Uh, Pidgeot did that. Uh, in that case, at the end of his turn, uh, Bear is gonna attempt to smack Zardus one more time because he didn't like not being able to smack him previously. Oh wow, this time I rolled a lot better. I might need a calculator for this. Uh, 33 to hit. That just hits. Yeah, thought as much. And this is his stomp. So it's this guy. Four, 34 points of bludgeoning damage, and I need a concentration check DC 17. Because I'm gonna remember about that level 5 Shadow Blade. Yes, you're a Volcaster. Alright, good on you! Um, okay, in that case, we come to Barrister, who gets up on his hind paws. And with all his weight, crashes into the ground with his front paws. I would bring out a template, but then I'd just mark all of the map. So, I'd like everybody to make a dexterity saving throw. I would like to use Tides of Chaos. Uh, I would like you not to use them. I'm using them. <laughs> no! Uh... Strong 11. Also, question for the DM. Uh, one second. Uh, 24. Uh, you have a 16. Okay. Uh, yes, Trega. Yes, uh, this is a dexterity, right? Yes. Uh, if you're in capacity... Oh, wait. Shield, I want to try and use Shield Master. Can I do that? You can add your yes. Shield AC bonus to any dexterity saving throw? Uh, no, it will be the... Uh, third paragraph. Ah, oh, third paragraph, okay. Yes. Alright, okay. so let me see. Uh, Zardes has 8 plus 5, he fails. Arles has 19 plus 5, 24, he fails. Trevor okay. has 16, he yeah, fails. Pidgeot has. Well, 16. he fails. Everybody who failed takes 31 point of bludgeoning damage. I require concentration checks from everybody. DC 15. Yeah, Alright. Uh, you have plus 5 also for that. Oh yes, you do. Yeah. And... Oh, Tregalos, he's already. Yeah, um, nice. And... Uh, all of you are not prone. Uh, but that's the end of his turn. Arliss, it is your turn. I get up. Actually, wait, Arliss, you're not prone. Oh, uh, wait. Um, I yes, you're the only one who was not not prone. So you I didn't succeed, also... but you didn't fail it hard enough to be not prone. Okay. okay <laughs> well, um... if you want to run. It really doesn't. Um, well, the nice thing is I can't really do jack all because as a single caster, trying to make him fail a save or two is just... I can make um, him fail a save. Yes. You're laughing. I have 19 DC. If he chooses to use it. Um, mm. So, yeah. I guess I am using my main action to cast Blade Award on myself. Okay. And then I will... That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. <laughs> and uh, then I will... Do I have a... Do I have a token for that? I don't think so. Huh? Not for Blade Award, sorry! <laughs> no. Uh, I'll just give myself some marker. Um, because Sanctuary is about to leave anyway. Alright. Um, oh, I need to open. One second. <laughs> yes! Yes! 
Someone! Someone who usually have to do, yeah. Where is it? There it is. I find it highly appropriate that I no longer need to suffer on your behalf. And I will toss a fireball right to the backside of this bear. Alright. Um, that's a deck save, right? Yeah. Oh wow, I rolled a 19. What's the spell DC? Oh, I, I cast flybacks. I mean this. Okay. Um, 20. Oh! It is! Alright, yeah. Um, fails it! Okay. He takes 33 points of fire damage, and I need to quickly... Well, he would. Doesn't seem to burn him all that much. Sure. Um, even better, since this is same turn, so round one. Um, and two sorcery points. No way in hell, no. No, that is not a success. So that... Oh, yeah, that's too much. Yeah. And um, that is the end of my turn. All right. At the end of your turn, he shall attempt to smack the boy with the hearty blade. Again, as a legendary action. Oh, boy. 20, 32 to hit. Can I use my reaction to Sentinel him? Uh, yes, you can. Yeah. Uh, Zandus, you take 30 points of bludgeoning damage. And I what need a con check from you. Alright. Good on you. Uh, Trigger, it is your turn. Alright, uh, I'm gonna bonus action cast Raffle Smite. Alright. I'm concentrating, but I'm I'm not... Well, I guess it's... Yeah, I'm concentrating. Okay. Uh, also, I'm getting up. So I'm no longer prone. Okay. Oh! Actually, let me roll again. Against Zardus. No, I did not roll a natural 20. Okay. Uh... And I'm gonna try and smack this <laughs> Touch your friendly fight! Uncover me, mate! I'm gonna slap you, boy! <laughs> boy! Uh, um... okay. Alright, let me see. Uh, 29 hits. That's a very convenient 20 points of damage, and I would like to inform you that you're noticing that the snow that comprises his body is beginning to fall apart. You're doing well. Did the and I need to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, wow, that's definitely... What's the spell you see? 19. 19. Uh, well, that's, 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 that's 16 on me, so I'm gonna use my legendary... Oh, wait. Yes, I'm gonna use my legendary resistance to succeed on that. You're welcome, Marlins. Uh... Anything else to attack again? Uh... What... Does the... Does the spell go out? Yes. It's until okay. you hit somebody. Okay. Uh, so I'm no longer concentrating. Yeah, I'm attacking again. Are you... Oh yes, because he succeeded, yeah. You would be concentrating if he failed and you were holding on to the... Um, okay, I'm there we that. go. Okay, there goes my hero. I'm smiting that, let's see, I'm smiting level... Well, at least he's not undead. Oh, what's the best I can do? I can't do four, so I'm gonna use my fifth level spell, I guess. Hmm, you have those. Yeah, Destructive Wave is good for AoE. I don't think we need AoE here. Yeah, I don't think you need AoE here. I mean, I don't mind you using it. I do want Zardos to lose his concentration eventually. That's some shitty rolls. Okay. Uh, he is mightily shaken after your assault. Uh, any skills you want to do? Uh, bonus action was the raffle smite. 
No, that's it. That's my turn. All right. I and I'm no longer pro, so yeah. Uh, yes, way. in that case, at the end of your turn, he will use his legendary weapon to... No, wait. Um... Yes... Yes. Hmm... Yes, to use the ice block ability. As he becomes encased in ice, completely. That looks like, uh, or similar to what Zardus does with his blood. Oh, kinda, yeah. Uh, Though, you're not sure how exactly it works. Uh, Zardus, it is your turn. Alright, I will stand up. And... I'm not sure, with these ores, is this still dim light over here where I am? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, he is currently technically restrained, like you would be in your blood block, so you'd have advantage anyway. Alright. Well, so, honestly... That is my restraint. Can do too. I have a restraint somewhere. Hit, hit, and a hit. Your strikes, however, don't seem to quite penetrate. Uh, hop. Uh, hop. Hop. A thirst. Hits the ice, but does not cut at all. Um, yeah. Anything else that I can do? Uh, no, that's it. Alright. Uh, at the end of the turn, he's not gonna do anything. So we go on to Pidgevik's turn. Jesse, right. your turn. Alrighty. Um, I'm just gonna have him... Straight up, try to chunk, ch um, hack away at the ice. Go for it. Take the plus eleven attack, since he has this ability on. Yeah. The long sword plus one. Um. Yeah, it's a se it's the second one, uh, with gotcha. S W in uh, in brackets. Okay. Thirty hits. Nice. Oh, crit. That's crit. a crit. Minor uh, is that advantage? Yes, he yeah. is going to restrain as well as advantage. Okay, yep. then I'm going to... It's going to be smite? Thunderous Smite. Uh, you have to precast those kind of smites. No, just a normal smite. Oh. Oh, he does so not have normal smites. Have okay. Alright. His smites so, are already on his sword, as you can see by his incredible amount of radiant damage. Uh, I... Five, minus two, and then eighteen radiant damage. A Spidrick unleashes his flurry of blows. You see the ice crack and shatter. And Pidgeric. How do you want to do this? Wow! <laughs> it's all yours, Jesse. Uh, oh god, I'm not very creative with sword stabs. Uh, can I just have him, like, on the final one, just, like, stab the sword right up into its neck? Sure. Kind of like an uppercut sword hit? Yeah, sure. You do that, and he stabs him in the neck and takes out the sword, and obviously no blood pours. But you see as the runes fade, and the snow begins to crumble, and crumbles off completely. As only the smaller shape of the bear remains. Who goes? Mm. Fine. 
who takes the water? Wait, are, 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 are we out of initiative? Are we out of initiative? That's it. I asked Carlos, what did he say? He asks who takes the word. Yeah, Aris, it's this your guy. turn next, actually. Our friends died. They're not They're dead. Take the word. It's. They're not dead. Take I'll the take the word, I'll say in Primordial. Then take it. If you think you can hand. She reaches out the claws towards him. Take a couple of steps forward and just like reach my hand towards his. Your hand touches his and you feel flow of information passing into your brain. Mends the long passage and the end culminates into a single word. When I was preparing this handout, I did not expect you to be receiving it. Yeah. <laughs> Nevertheless, there you go. I'm gonna put it into unique items, but not hungry. <laughs> <specific. laughs> uh, uh. Scott, which ones you get? <laughs> the worst spell in the game. <laughs> yes, Trago. No. This word will. Do you know Kung Fu, Argus? Bring them back. What do you mean? I also, mean... that's a lot of HP. I don't know what you're talking. That's all. I mean. This word will not bring them back. What does it do? It stops time. Okay. You are not Gregor. Your use limited. I'm sorry, I didn't understand the first part. You are not Gregor. I Oh, yeah. Limited. Yeah. It's a free spell. Yeah. <laughs> Stop time. Is it, is it though? Like, uh, Do I have yeah. to pay you to take it? <laughs> I mean, technically, you're definitely right. <laughs> the spell costs us two friends. Well, you're welcome to consider it merely as a plot device. No. Okay, how does stopping time bring them back? It doesn't. Told me I could start down. Can it rewind time? No. Can it alter time dimensions? No. It can stop time for a brief period of time. That doesn't make sense. That's right, that does not make sense. Well, it's you are welcome to blame your own weakness for not being born a dragon with 10th level spell slots. Yes. Imagine that while time stands still for everyone else, it will not stand still for the person who uses this, and they can act freely, but it will not bring anyone back. You can't reverse time. We can need to he? go back. I think if you remember, I'm pretty sure you talked with Lady Kazar about Kazar, time yeah. travel, and she has outright told you that traveling backwards in time is impossible. Yeah. But yeah, not we have to go, so we have to go forward far enough in time that things start over and then try again. Uh, sure. I mean... Uh, ask him if he can bring them back now. Please. Now, do the thing. Do it. 
Please. Can you bring our friends back? Or is it still out of the realm of possibility? Not the way you want. What does that mean? How could you bring them back? They are eyes. They're transmuted? Can we find someone I that have not statues. translated anything? Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. You want it. Take it. But it has He's... no life. He's saying we can take their eyes with us? <laughs> <laughs> is no way of getting them back. They are ice. It is without life. This might... This could be like the Petrify with just... We need just someone that could greater restoration it. I'm taking the ice. Do you remember where the proper ice is? Considering that the whole floor of this chamber is currently yeah, crashed and this. shattered. Yeah, he just stomped this thing. He, he stomped it. I'm pretty sure he stomped exactly on where the puddles were. At least somewhere pick... under his huge bulk. Can I pick up the pieces? You can pick up some of the pieces, yes. Yes, dear, you can pick up the pieces. Just don't put them in your mouth. Also, they will never be whole again. Don't ask... Uh, uh, Arliss has uh, precipitation. He can keep them frozen forever, right? Does precipitation cool? I don't think it does. It does cool, but it doesn't say ice over. But uh... ice, ice. He knows that... He, he knows the freaking word for ice! Look, track it. You just have to let it go. No. No, he, they're, they're... He he said it. They're not really dead. They're ice. That means they're transmuted. Just like the statue. Just like Leos' huh? wife. Waifu. Okay. Well, I... Said, Trader, your, uh, your optimism is <laughs> always appealing, but I don't know if it's going to work out this time. Try making out with eyes. Maybe that's what it means. True love. Yeah. Oh shit, that's Leos. <laughs> <laughs> I still support it. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that from the grave. <laughs> Do it. The ship shall bring her back. Laura, we said we'll wait till Kazar and him are together and then we'll have a force nest. Um... <laughs> Okay. Anyways, yeah, yeah Trigger's gonna pick up some pieces. Uh, there's gotta be a way. I just need to think. I'm good at thinking. I'm, I'm the best at thinking. Yeah. The bear goes I lie. And crumbles in the snow again. I think we need to leave now. Yeah. Contact Khazar to get us outside. Tell mom to pick us up. <laughs> and see what we can do about our friends. If there is anything to do. I'll start walking out. I'll follow. And on Once that we note, back. we're gonna end the session for tonight. While I ponder Kazar's abilities to hope dimensions. And 
somebody ponders whether they want to write a reply.